So we have one fifth, one quarter, and one eighth. And we need to write these fractions in order, smallest first. So the important thing to remember about fractions is that the larger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. That's because your whole has been divided into more pieces, so each piece is smaller. Now all of these fractions have the same numerator, so here we're just looking at the denominator of each fraction. So which of these is the smallest? One eighth is the smallest, then one fifth, then one quarter. Now it seems strange that fractions with larger denominators are smaller, so let's look at one eighth, one fifth, and one quarter, so that we can see how small or large they are. You can clearly see here that one eighth is the smallest. That's because if our rectangle has been divided into eight pieces, and we only have one piece, then the piece that we have left, the piece shaded in blue here, is small. Then we have one fifth in the middle, and one quarter is our largest fraction. And you might be able to spot here that one quarter is twice the size of one eighth. So we would need two eighths to have the same amount shaded blue as we have in one quarter. Now let's try three quarters, three sixths and three eighths. Although we don't have one in the numerator, we do have the same numerator for all of our fractions. They all have three as the numerator. So all we need to remember is that the larger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. So which is our smallest fraction? It's the fraction with the largest denominator, so three eighths. What do we have next? We have three sixths, and that means our largest fraction is three quarters. Again, it will help us to see the fractions, and when you're ordering fractions, it's useful to picture in your mind what each one looks like. So let's look at three eighths, three sixths, and three quarters. You can see that even though we have three pieces, because three is the numerator for all of our fractions, the pieces are different sizes for each fraction. Because this top rectangle has been divided into more pieces, each piece is smaller. And because this bottom rectangle has not been divided into as many pieces, each piece is larger.